On your whiteboard, please tell me who is the founder of the Ming Dynasty. Who is it, Abby? Hong Wu. Hong Wu. On your whiteboard, please tell me who is the most influential of the Ming emperors. He is going to write an encyclopedia. He's going to send uh, voyages around the world. Well, who is it, Cal? Yongle. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Yongle moves the capital of China to its present location. Where is that present location? Good. Cali. Beijing. On your whiteboard, please tell me what dynasty started the Great Wall of China. Good. Who is it? Karishma. Chen. On your whiteboard, who finished it? Who is it? Munson. Ming. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Uh, please tell me what is brought back uh, that's based on Confucianism. It takes three days in order to do it. Uh, anyone can take it. However, only very few actually pass it. Those who pass it will have a job for life. Or if they're selected. Who is it? What is it? Uh, Caroline. Civil service exam. The civil service exam is based on what type of ideas? What? Uh, Good. Pan. Confucianism. On your whiteboard. What is the name of the palace where the emperor lives in Beijing? Good. What is it, Walker? Forbidden City. Forbidden City. On your whiteboard, the Ming uh, and all of China has an incredibly weak what in comparison where all the other places in the world are getting stronger and stronger. Typically, Europe is going to have the strongest ones. What is it, Elizabeth? The Navy is incredibly weak. On your whiteboard, who are the Qing? What is their real name? I'm getting sick. I'm going to be so pissed. I don't have time to be sick. Good. Who is it, Bronson? Manchu. Manchu. On your whiteboard, please tell me. The Manchu are going to start what dynasty? Good. What is it, Callie? Ching. On your whiteboard, please tell me. What is the name of the emperor at the height of the Qing? He is going to be so powerful and he's going to make so much money. He actually cancels taxes, which is pretty boss. What is it? Who is it, Anisha? Qing Long. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is it called when you do complete submission to the emperor? Your forehead goes to the ground, and now, uh, because of the making of the chicken, you do it nine times. What is it, Gunner? How tow on your whiteboard? Uh, on your whiteboard, please tell me what is what is it called when your parents know everything? And you submit to the will of your father. I taught it to you in period one. I got one. I got two. Three. Nah. Four. What is it, Ryan? Fantastic. It's going to be on your midterm, by the way. On your whiteboard. What awesome song tradition is making a comeback? It's going to make women even less than equal. They're just, it's just the worst. We just can't do a damn thing now. What is it, Walker? Foot binding. Foot binding. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is uh, food store, uh, food crops from what new place is going to lead to an increased Chinese population? Even though they're going to have wars and all this other stuff happening, their population is going to continue to grow. Zach, the Americas. The Americas, on your whiteboard, please tell me. During Zhang He's voyages, he's supposed to pick up science and techno technological stuff, but all he does is pick up what stuff? 
Good. What is it, Alex? Cultural stuff. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is... What is the mix of Buddhism and uh, Confucianism? Good. Jamal. Neo-Confucianism. On your whiteboard, Sikhism is the mix of what? Oh, yeah. I have no idea why that was so hard for me to process, but yes. Good. What is it, Greta? No. Oh, sorry. What is it? Uh, Munson. Islam and Hinduism. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Who's the guy who's bringing all the damn clocks? Tell me. Gains favor and gets in the door. Good. Who is it? Tristan. There you go. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Shoguns live where? Good. What country? Good. What are they, Karishma? They're in Japan. Okay, let's just talk about the unification of Japan real quickly. I think this is pretty much where we left off, correct? Tokugawa are going to come into power from... Okay, Tokugawa are going to come into power. They're going to last until uh, 1867, I think. All of our Civil War generals. Yeah, perfect. Was it right? Uh, all our Civil War generals in the United States, as soon as the war is over, they go to Japan to make some money. Or they go to Egypt. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Only, like, your big top, top generals, but all the other, like, lower class, like, all that stuff are going to go to Japan or they're going to go to uh, Egypt and fight. So, the Tokugawa are going to establish a whole new dynasty, okay, in Japan. They are going to create, like, a federal system, and you're going to want to write this down. Shoguns and samurai lose the most power. Shoguns and samurai lose the most power. For the first time in history, the Tokugawa is going to take away power from the samurai. It is going to be a disgrace to continue being a samurai. You're going to see is holding Japan back, all that stuff. Okay, the Daimo are the most powerful people. Okay, capital city. Is going to be Tokyo or Edu. Okay. And the shoguns here are going to be controlling the shots. They're going to close the city. And what do we call it when they close Japan? Sakao. Okay. You need to know that's on your test for tomorrow, by the way. Let me spell it right for you, by the way. It is, as I open up the test to tell you how it is. So do you think you should probably write this down? Hello? I wouldn't do. S-A-K-O-K-U. S-A-K-O-K-U is the closing of Japan. Uh, closing the doors of Japan, except to what foreign country? The Dutch. Are they trading with the Chinese? Nah, Chinese and the Japanese don't really get along. They never really get along. They have trust issues. It's only going to get worse as history goes by, but they don't really like it. Uh, they're going to close the door for 200 years. That's significant. The world's going to be completely different in 200 years when we, they open back up. Okay, so because of that, the shoguns travel, uh, close the doors. It's going to end a uh, civil conflict. Okay, all of a sudden, there's going to be a ton of prosperity on Japan, in Japan. Why? Because the money isn't going out, correct? It's just staying in, so the money's just moving around. So we're going to have huge growth. We're going to have new crops, okay? Population growth is moderate. There's not a huge boom, okay? So we're going to see that. All right, social change. We're okay. You know, Confucianism is going to be coming popular. Okay, you're floating wor uh, world. U-K-I-Y-O, you're going to want to know this. This is, I believe, on your midterm. 
Okay, what it is is that urban culture expressed in entertainment or pleasure industries. You're going to see a lot of theater. Kabuki theater is a big, big thing. AP loves it for some reason. It's your traditional theater. Trump actually went to the Kabuki theater when he visited Japan. And there's a really funny meme of him sitting there just completely confused. Watching it. It's pretty funny. Uh, so when he went to Japan like a month ago, or two months ago maybe at this point, the leader of Japan took him to the Kabuki Theater, and I got one to see it. When I go to Japan at some point in my life, I want to go to see a traditional Japanese theater, okay? And Bukurao is a puppet theater, just kind of like what you think, smaller stage, and I kind of do it that way. So, floating worlds, every island has its own culture, its own identity, and they all identify as Japan. All right, Christianity, just listen really quickly. Um, Japan had Christians on it beforehand. When they closed the doors, is it a good sign for Christians or a bad sign for Christians? It's a very bad sign. They're saying they don't want any more European influence. Uh, so what you're going to see is that they're going to start executing. There was a movie that came out about two years ago about the execution. Spider-Man. One of the guy who played Spider-Man a couple years ago, he's in it. He gets killed. Spoiler alert. It's really dark. Really dark. And, yeah, they go around killing people. It was, like, about five or six scenes where they just slaughter everyone. So it's pretty cool. Um, I can't think of the name of the movie. It wasn't very popular. I think we can uh, probably see that happening. So, just listen. The Dutch president. Oh, you're going to want to write down the port. Uh, the Dutch are only allowed in Nagasaki, which you should all know Nagasaki. Who can raise your hand and tell me why you should know the port name of Nagasaki? Dylan. Drop the apple. Yes. Was it the first one or the second one? It's the second one. Second one. First one was on Hiroshima, second one was on Nagasaki. You should know from that reference. Okay. However, it was the only way um, the Dutch could trade with the Japanese. Okay, and there you go. All right, we're done. Perfect. You ready for Islam? Let's do it. So the Islamic empires, you're going to have three major ones, the uh, Ottoman, the Safid, and the Mughal. So I would write down Ottoman, Safid, and Mughal. The Ottoman are located where, ladies and gentlemen? Mediterranean Basin, right? Anatolia, Mediterranean Basin, yes? Okay, if you had to label the Safid, what would you say? Middle East, right? It's pretty clearly Middle East, yeah? And then if you had to label Mughal, what would you say? South Asia. South, uh, Southeast Asia. South Asia, India would be the reference. There you go. All right, so the Ottoman Empire. Okay, so uh, the Ottoman Empire is going to really start kicking off. It's going to go until, nine. it starts in 1289 and goes to 1923. Damn. One of the longest civilizations in history. Okay, it's going to collapse after World War I. So, what you're going to see is that... Uh, you're going to have Osman leads nomadic Turks. The biggest thing that you need to know off here is that the forced Christian families to surrender young boys to military service, it's called the Vershmi. Okay? You force all Christian boys to fight for the Ottoman Empire. Why did they force all the Christian boys to fight? You can raise your hand and tell me. Why, Ryan? They had a hard chance of dying. Yeah, they'd rather kill all Christians than you. Muslims, why would they want to protect the Muslims? Because they are Muslims. They are Muslims, so they're like, hell yeah, we'll pick off the Christians first, then we'll kill the Muslims, fine. Less Muslims are going to die. So, everyone had to do it. The problem is, for the Muslims, is that the Christians were really good fighters. And they gained a lot of respect. So, what is that going to mean long term? Is Christianity going to be highly regarded or poorly regarded? Highly regarded. You need to make sure you note that. That Devarshmi, Jinch Army, or whatever it is, military service Christians are forced. Eventually, they'll turn into more positive relations with Christians because they're good soldiers. Okay, Janissaries, 
are warriors for the Ottomans. Janissaries are a warriors for the Ottomans. You should know that term as well. Janissaries are the warriors for the Ottomans, typically Christian, mostly in the men. Are you ready? Cool. All right. Mehed the second. Uh, you need to write this down. Mehed the second is going to conquer Constantinople, renamed to Istanbul. Is that a big deal? Yes, we've talked about it like 10,000 times. Can't we agree? Constantinople is sacked in 1453. It's going to be renamed Istanbul by Mehed the second. Okay, that's all you need to know. Uh, he did try to capture the Pope. However, he couldn't do it. Pope gets away. Damn. All right. That's all you need to know for them. Suleiman the Magnificent. Okay. He is going to attack all the way to Vienna. Where is Vienna located? Austria. That's like mid-Europe. Is that impressive? Hell yeah, that's impressive. Hell yeah. Absolutely. He leads the Muslims all the way to Austria. That's cool. Eventually, he's going to be pushed back pretty quickly. Um, however, he is going to develop the navy. Is that a big deal? Absolutely. They're going to be one of the powerful, most powerful ones. So, the Safid is going to um, promote the Twelver Shism. Sh Shism. You need to write that down. Twelver Shism. It's a test question for tomorrow. Twelver Shism is the belief that there's 12 infallible and fallible imams after Muhammad, and the 12th imam is waiting to take power. So, we know that there's been 11 major Muslim leaders post-Muhammad. The 12th one is waiting to take his place. Twelverism is the belief that the 12th man is coming. It's a big deal. It's going to perpetuate the Safid Empire. Eventually, people are going to believe it. Okay? They wear red hats. Have you ever seen Aladdin? It's 12 or They wear the little red hats. Isn't that cool? So, Twelverism, Twelverism is, uh, they believe the Twelfth man, uh, Mom is hiding, and it's going to come for himself and save the world while that's done. It's just like Jews. If you're a diehard Jew, you believe uh, Jesus hasn't come back. You know what I mean? Like, we're waiting for, like, Jesus, you know, the God, Son of God to come back and help us. If you are, uh, we're waiting for that. Just look. Okay, all of these, the Safid, the Mongol, and the Ottoman Empire have a nickname. What is their nickname? Huh? Yeah. Gunpowder Empires are what their nickname. So, you know how I had you write down all of them? Or I told you to write down Ottoman, Safid, and all that stuff, right? Write down the nickname Gunpowder Empires. Okay. They were, where are they getting this gunpowder originally from? China. They're the first empires to really use it to drastically spread, which is why the Safi could reach what major European city? Vienna, absolutely. The first ones to really do it. Um, they're going to push. So now we're in the Mughal Empire. Where's the Mughal Empire? India. India. Here we go. So, Babur the Tiger is the term you're most likely going to hear. Uh, however, it's Zahir al-Din Muhammad. So what religion is he? Islamic. He's a Muslim. Invades northern India for plunder. Because of gunpowder technology, he gets the advantage, and he founds the Mughal, or the Persian word for Mongol dynasty. Okay? The Mughal dynasty is going to conquer through most of India. So all you need to know is Babur the Tiger is the founder of the Mughal dynasty. And what religion are they? They're Muslim. Akbar, which is one of my faves. I love Akbar. He's a great guy. You definitely need to know his name. So Babur the Tiger discovers 
India uh, starts with Mughal Empire. It's Akbar is going to be his major one, uh, major leader. He's going to create a centralized government. Okay, he destroys the Hindu kingdom of V. Okay, but he is religiously tolerant, and he believes in this whole promoted divine faith, which is a mix of Hinduism and Islam. And what is this faith? Sikhism. He's a huge, huge proponent of Sikhism. You need to know that. You need to know that he forms a centralized government. He's religiously tolerant, but he supports Sikhism. So, if you ever see a Sikh, which I saw one yesterday at Fresh Market, the men wear turbans. You ever seen anyone walk around with a turban? No? Do you people leave South South Tampa? I mean, I was in South Tampa yesterday and I saw a Sikh, so they're around people. They're wearing a turban and all that stuff. Anyway, um, a lot of them are named Akbar. Why? He's a huge, huge deal to Sikhism because he's the first guy that really promotes it. All right, let's do some boards here. You got a lot of content. All right, here we go. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Please tell me who is going to... Uh, what new government is going to take hold in Japan and take away power from the samurai? No. Good. No. Good. No. What is it, Reina? Tokugawa. Tokugawa. Guys, you need to know because it's going to be a big deal in five when we overthrow it again. And eventually we put into place the mat and the mage. Okay, so it's a big deal. You definitely need to know. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is it called when the Japanese shut their ports to everyone except the Dutch? Good. What is it, Elizabeth? Sounds good. On your whiteboard, please tell me who are the most powerful, give me the two titles of the most powerful people in Japan. No, oh, samurai are going to be murdered in the streets. Daimo and who else? Jamal, who are the two? Perfect. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is... Uh, please tell me what is uh, when men and when when men play women's role. What's the theater called in Japan? Shows the traditional beliefs. Good. I got one, two, three. No, four. What is it, Anisha? Kabuki theater. On your whiteboard. Please tell me what happens to Christians after the doors close in Japan. Good. Krishma. <coughs> They're executed. On your whiteboard, please tell me, uh, what are the three Islamic empires that have the nickname of the Gunpowder Empires? What are the three empires that have the nickname of the Gunpowder Empires? Good. What are they, Zach? The Mughal, the Ottoman, and there you go. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is uh, what is it called when you force young Christian boys into the Ottoman service? What is it called when you force young Christian boys into service for the Ottomans? What is it, Callie? Sure, it sounds good to me. When you become a full soldier in the Ottoman Empire as a Christian, what are you called? Where you are a full-on warrior of the state. Good. What is it, Sarah? Janissaries. Janissaries. On your whiteboard, please tell me, what is the name of the dude who captures Constantinople? 1453. Daniel. On your whiteboard, please tell me, what is the name of the gentleman who's going to lead the Ottomans all the way to Vienna? He's going to lose in Vienna, but it's pretty damn impressive. He makes it all the way there. Good. Who is it? 
Uh, who is it, Greta? Suleiman. Suleiman. Uh, yes. If I had a name like the Magnificent, I'd want you to say it all the damn time. Greta, you hear me? It's pretty awesome. You can call me Bennett the Magnificent if you'd like. All right, you don't have to. It's fine. On your whiteboard, what is the religious sect that supports the Safid? What is the religious sect? Good. No, not Sufism, no. That's always there. No. Shiite? No. No, stop. What is it? Uh, Tristan. There you go. Twelve of Shiism. On your whiteboard, how many imams do they believe exist? Good. How many do they believe exist, Alex? Twelve. How many have actually presented themselves? Good. How many, Alex? Eleven. So we're waiting on the last one. On your whiteboard, please tell me. What is the name of the gentleman of the Mughal Empire? What up? Do those twelve or guys still exist? Yeah, they're still around. They're still kicking it. Have you seen the Gideana Jones? They've got a bunch of the red caps. Anytime you see the red caps, that's what it is. What is it? Who is the founder of the Mughal, Elizabeth? Oh, uh, Bever, the tiger. There you go. And please tell me, what is the what is the dude who really pushes Sikh, uh, Sikhism? Who is it right now? Akbar. Okay, when you think about Akbar, you need to know Sikhism, and you need to know that he is totally religiously tolerant. Okay, now, your next dude, not religiously tolerant. Every time you have a super religiously tolerant guy, you always have a jerk who falls, correct? Okay, so this is our second guy, our third guy. I'm not even going to try. Anyway, he hates Hinduism. So he demolishes a bunch of Hindu uh, temples and all that stuff. He taxed the Hindus crazy amounts uh, in order to try to get them to flip to Islam. Okay? All right. So what you're going to see, um, there's still a blending of some cultures here. Women, are, I don't think anyone's surprised by the fact that women can't enter politics, correct? Yeah, I don't think anyone's surprised. So, American crops do not have that much effect. They're pretty limited. However, um, Indians love coffee and tobacco. It's still very true to this day. They're one of the largest importers of both coffee and tobacco. Um, you're going to see they're going to continue trade. The Ottoman Empire is mostly Jew, has some Jews and Christians. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to focus on what you need for tomorrow. Okay. All right, Jisa, you're going to want to write that down. Jisa is a tax on non-Muslims. Jisa is a tax on non-Muslims. So Christians, Jews had to pay. Okay. However, once you did pay your tax, you're free to worship any way you want. Okay. Under Akbar, the Jisa is completely abolished, yes. Um, I'm not really 100% sure on that. I know definitely for Christians and Jews. Um, I know Buddhists had to, didn't have to pay either. So I think it's just mostly Jews and Christians. Okay. Uh, the Mughal... Okay, Akbar builds Taj Mahal, by the way. Is that a big deal? Yes, because you know the Taj Mahal, yes? It's one of the few things you do know. <laughs> Thank you. Let me just check something real quick. Oh. Uh, so, Akbar is going to start and lay the groundwork for the Taj Mahal, but it is Shah, S-H-A-J, Jahan, J-A-H-A-N, who officially finishes it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting sick. I'm so pissed. 
what? Shah. S A H A Jaha. J A H A N. He's the guy who actually finishes it. Okay. Um, imperial leadership. There you go. All right, perfect. I cover everything I had to. Did you mind that I kind of just cut right when I need it? I didn't think so. All right, how much time do I have? Seven minutes? Perfect. All right, here we go. On your whiteboard. So, for today, I was very clear on what you need and what you don't. Um... Tomorrow you're testing, Thursday we're passing out papers, Friday I'm not here, Monday we begin the review. We have six days of review, more than enough time. On your whiteboard, please tell me, Sikhism is a combination of what two religions? What is it, Anisha? On your whiteboard, please tell me what is a tax uh, of non-Muslims uh, for being an Islamic country called? Miss Bennett. Sounds great. Thank you. Walker, you lucky duck. You get to go home after this. What is it? Uh, Cal. Uh, Jisa, uh, on your white bar, on your white board, what is the Mughal leader who's the most religiously tolerant? Good, Daniel. Akbar. Akbar, on your white board, please tell me who is the founder of the Mughal Empire. Good. Who is it, Abby? There you go. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is the name of the Mughal ruler who finished the construction of the Taj Mahal. Good. Who is it, Bronson? Sajahan. Sajahan. On your whiteboard, who, um, what Mughal leader is going to destroy Hindu temples, kill as many Hindus as possible, and try to get them converted to Islam? Good. Who is it? Who is it, Cade? Sounds good to me. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is... All right, that's really it for your test tomorrow. I mean, as you can see, I'm sitting here reading off of it. You're going to be fine. Uh, there's a lot of primary sources, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Are we glad to see them increase by week? Don't you dare put your board back, Tristan. I'm not done. No, I'm not. All right, if I'm going to use my time wisely, we might as well start the review. We saw how weak we were earlier in the week. Let's do it. On your whiteboard, what is the name of the empire that Charles Martel started? However, his grandson, Charlemagne, is really going to lead it. I've got two, three, four. No. No. Ah, who is it, Jamal? Carolinian, on your whiteboard, please tell me what is the name of. Oh, this is going to be fun. Please tell me what is the name of the government system of the Chin. It's incredibly harsh and hateful, which is why their people rebel, because even though they come back under control, no one, they don't lessen up. Greta! Legalism on your whiteboard, please tell me what uh who is the founder of Buddhism? Oh my gosh, people. I hope you're excited for a review because you people need it. 
Oh my god, I got one, two, three, four. Gunner. There you go, Siddhartha. On your whiteboard, please tell me which uh, religion believes in uh, extreme peace, which means they're not even going to kill the damn bugs. They sweep in front of them. Abby. Jainism, on your whiteboard, please tell me what is the, who's the founder of the Han Dynasty? Good, I got one. Han Dynasty probably starts with who, what, Pagan? Han Woody. Han Woody. On your whiteboard, who is the founder of the Gupta? Good. All right. All right. Who is it? Tristan. Sandra. Gupta. On your whiteboard. Who's the founder of the Mayoran? Good. Who is it? Audi. Sandra Gupta. Mayoran. On your whiteboard, please tell me uh, what part of India or South Asia is going to be super hardcore Hindu that has never been conquered so far? What part, Karishma? The south. The, south, the southern tip on your whiteboard, please tell me what is the name of the gentleman who starts the Christian church? There's some over there. There's some in my buckets. Some in the buckets, man. Good. What is it? Oh my god, you are a mess. There's one right there. Let's start there. I saw that. Cool. Alright, who is it? Jing Hao. Paul of Zars. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is. Uh, who is the last ruler of the Han? One of the greatest names of all time. Yeah! Who is it? Who is it? Caroline? Wei Meng. On your whiteboard, please tell me what religion has the eightfold path with the four noble truths? Good. What is it, Monson? Buddhism. Buddhism. On your whiteboard, the Greeks are in what period? Good. Ryan, what period? Two. two. What is the date range for period two? No. Good. Callie, what is it? 600 BCE to 600 C on your whiteboard. Please tell me what period is the chin in? Oh my god. A lot of wrong answers here, people. The answer is what, Kate? Two. Two. On your whiteboard, please tell me what the Persians believed in what religion? Persians believed in what religion? Bronson. Zoroastrianism. On your whiteboard, what year did God speak to Muhammad? I told you. Yeah. Greta. 610. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is the year Muhammad died? What is it? Uh, Carlota. 632. On your whiteboard, please tell me the Swede build the what? There are only a couple. The Swede build the what? Adi. Grand Canal. On your whiteboard, please tell me. Never mind. of the United States of America, into the Republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, visible, with liberty and justice for all.